Unmuted. Yeah, you're good. We, uh, we've got Graham here, and again, we will start the rotation with Jeff Petrie. Yeah, Graham, I know it's right after the game, but can you try to summarize what you thought didn't, well, didn't work well for you individually and then the offense in general against that defense? Yeah, well, I'll start with what worked well. And that was, I feel like the run game went, went really great. And i um, proud of how the O-line came out and was physical and set the tone. But for us, it was obviously the passing game today. And um, for, it was just working through progressions and really seeing the field. And Northwestern, it's a great veteran defense that uh, they, they knew they, they knew it was coming with our with our progressions. So obviously that was uh, some I'd, I'd rather I'd love to get back. But um, now it's just taking them as a learning experience and growing from it. Go over to Jim. And this is really your first piece of adversity um, since you became the starter. What did it feel like out there? I mean, to, to deal with that all day, and, and did you feel like you couldn't ever get in a rhythm? I mean, for for this team, it's been it's been all off field adversity, and we, we know how to deal with it. And um, today it was just I, I didn't see any losing the fight, and uh, the guy the guys kept fighting the entire game, and they, they knew it was going to be like that. We prepped for it all week. It was gonna it's gonna be a fist fight, and um, sideline the energy it was, it was it stayed here the whole game, and then. Uh, that really goes to show that we're we're truly a family and we, we love each other. Colton? Colton? Yeah, Graham, did you feel like it limited the offense at all when you just get thinned out of position like you were uh, a wide receiver today, down Davis and Pryor? I mean, it's it's next man up here, and we always preach that. And I, I didn't – I never lost any confidence in the guys. I knew they were going to go out there and make plays, and um, I'm proud of how they worked. And uh, – I mean, you can. Danny and KP are great players too. So obviously, that it's it's not that much. It's not drastic, but we definitely we got young guys that are, that are ready to go. And um, I'm, I'm just I'm proud of how they worked all week and how they responded. Go over to Josh. Graham, could you walk us through your two uh, first half interceptions, kind of what you saw, and then sort of what happened from there? Yeah, I mean the first one, obviously a, a tip ball, but um, just a little spacing concept uh, should should have been a nice little easy reset and throw the ball, and uh, just got a little off platform and, and missed left a little bit. And then second one, we had a uh, just a big over, and they they played their uh, five field, and a whole week we were we were repping it and thought that was it was the perfect look. Just uh, missed a little high on it, had the right window, just missed a little high, and uh, but. Those, those were the two big ones in the first half. Go back to Jeff. Hey, Graham, you mentioned, you know, the loss and everything, what worked well, you thought. What, what's next for this team? I mean, you guys knew what was at stake, two unbeaten teams here. I know still a lot of games to play, but what's the mentality that you guys have to have from here on? It's the response. Um, in life and in the game of football, it's how can you control your next step? And um, Coach talks about it all the time. And, and I'm, I'm excited to see where this team takes the next step. And uh, it's, it's going to be a great team from this point on. We're, we're going to learn from it tomorrow. We're going to flush it. And um, we're going to go get the axe. We're going to keep the axe. We got time for one more. We'll end with Colton. Hey, Grant, kind of going back to what I asked you before, did, did you feel like it limited you guys in like maybe the formations you could run or maybe going up tempo when you have a position that's get, you know down a couple of key guys like that? Um, I, I don't think it really limited us. Uh, I think there were definitely some points in the game where um, the guys were we were out there making plays and we were driving and time possession and everything was working for us. But it was just for me, it was a couple of misses on location and just is in, in general, we just had a couple just a couple of small miscues that uh, led to us not being able to score on those drives. Thanks, Graham.